Okay, welcome back. A very short video. Um, this might be useful for people because um, I only just recently discovered this in Adobe Premiere and I've been using this for a few years now and I don't know why I didn't know this. So in making this video, maybe I'm just highlighting how naive I am and people will watch this and go, how's he been using it for years? He didn't even know how to do that. The alternative is that you, like me, struggled to do something really basic in Premiere and I used to curse it and say, oh, this is just so annoying. It didn't seem to, be, there was a bit that was missing and I'll show you exactly what I used to do first and I'll show you what I now do. It's about framing and zooming and panning into an area. So I've got a video here, look, of, I'm just editing it, one of the books I'm looking at and I'm just dragging this across the timeline like this, scrubbing it. And I want to get to a bit like basically where I want to zoom in. Say there, I want to zoom in and I want to sort of show that um, text uh, in a more sort of zoomed in. I'll stop it there. I'm going to click cut with a C key for the beginning of the clip. And then I'll move it to the bit where, say there, I want to stop that zoomed in section. I'm going to press C again. So I've got two cuts. So now I can highlight that bit on the timeline. That's the bit I want to affect. Making sure that the timeline's over it. What I can then do is zoom in with this scale. I just hold and drag. And I'd normally drag it to about here. And then what I have to do is, say I want it like about there. I actually want it in the middle of the screen. So then I end up doing this. I, gr I have to grab this number and I start to drag it. And I drag it. And then I have to keep dragging it because my basically my I run out of space with my, my trackpad there. And I drag it again. And often I have to drag it loads. And then occasionally you grab it and you just drag it too much. And it does this thing where it just shoots off. I can't replicate it now. Oh, it's working really well. Anyway. Um... So I just drag it and then similarly with the vertical axis and often I spend quite a while trying to drag this to where I want it to be. And um, and then of course like spreading onto there in the middle and I've got to zoom in a bit more. It's all a bit of a faff. And once I've zoomed in now I have to potentially align it again. So I just couldn't believe that it was this difficult. And then I discovered if you click on the actual position here, so the actual position, it then allows you just to drag it around. And for some reason, when I've tried in the past to just drag it, so let's try another clip, say here. If I just wanted to drag this, look, it doesn't work. I'm, I'm dragging, but nothing's happening. You actually have to click on position, and then you can drag, and it's just drag and drop. Beautiful, and that's actually revolutionized my editing world. So, I hope you found this useful. I hope if you were struggling like me, You've stumbled across this and this will also revolutionise your editing world. It did me.